think too many kids listen to classical music right now, which makes me think it might die out. No, I don't really listen to that much classical music. Well, it's slow. It's not the, I don't know, I don't really listen to those types of instruments. It doesn't have a very good beat to it. I usually think that people who are 45 and older listen to classical music, people who are normally very uptight. I think that classical music is going to die out because people are always like looking for the next new thing and it's kind of an old, it's like considered old music and for older people, so I think it will die out. Over the last decade, there's been much debate on the status of classical music in America. Devoted classical fans worry that the timeless genre is in fact dying, even scarier that youth today remain indifferent to the matter. Sadly, there seems to be many indications that classical is on the decline. Recent labor disputes, decreased budgets, lack of donor support, cancellation of classical radio stations, as well as cuts to school music programs, all help to create an irretractable sense of doom that classical music will never regain its footing. Despite rumors of death, classical music is very much alive. Considered for centuries to be the pinnacle of humanity's mastery of instruments, classical and its grand performances showcase the artful expertise of musicians, human capability, and high-class culture. I'm Betty Mosser, and a cello teacher in Mill Valley, and I've been teaching about 40 years. I'm Ann Kranitsky, and I am the music director and conductor of the Marin Symphony Youth Orchestra. My name is Joe Angelo. I'm a retired instrumental music teacher. My name is Gary Schoenstuhl, and I am the owner of Mill Valley Music on Miller Avenue. A lot of, a lot of people come back to, to playing an instrument after they maybe have been exposed and played it for a while, and, and then they go on to their careers, but then they come back. It opens up another world, and if you, um, if you aren't exposed to something, if you're not made aware of it, how can you know if you like it? How it has classical music evolved? I think it's, uh, it's wonderful now because we've been seeing new concert halls being built in, in this economy. The Stanford has a new, lovely new big hall, the Bing Hall, and we have our Green Center in Roanoke Park, and that people are willing to uh, donate to new halls. Students who are not um, necessarily thrilled about classical music just may not have been exposed to the composer that speaks to them. It's, it's a component. It's, it's part of my everyday. It's eating, uh, sleeping, breathing, and music. I guess it's kind of a cultural thing. I, I mean, it's, 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 you have to immerse yourself in it. You have to really listen to whether it's opera or, or instrumental or symphonies and stuff. There tends to be you know, builds and ebbs and flows. You have to give kids an opportunity to, to listen to groups like this up close and personal. And, and so I've been doing that for 20 years. I don't know really if there's that much decline in music when I do see these orchestras, these youth orchestras with great numbers of people. So I think there's, there's hope. classical music survive in its original form, it is also changing and adapting. From electronic dubstep mixed with classical music to violins and a hip-hop beat, classical is finding ways to merge with today's music. Robert Hunter, a local electronic composer from Bolinas, is able to recreate the sounds of an entire symphony 
through pre-recorded samples of string and wind instruments and a software on his computer. He is able to create pieces of music despite his lack of access to a live orchestra and musical training. His innovative method of composing offers a new avenue for the future of classical music. So why do I use a software program instead of an instrument? Um, primarily because I don't know how to play an instrument very well. So this software allows me to write music as if I knew something about playing the violin, so I can actually write violin music and have it play violin music. We set out to follow what we thought would end up leading us to the demise of classical. In an age of electronic music and fast-paced culture, it seemed destined to be left behind. But instead, it has picked up its cane and is walking forward. What started as a European art form, America may have finally adopted as her own. Classical music isn't doomed to die, it's simply branching out. Through innovation and reinvention, the timeless genre will always prevail. For after all, that's why it's called classical music.